So today's theme is the true way of all flesh, correct? Uh, pretty much. Uh, once, once uh, it's been live for a while, and we can sir that. Make sure it's live. Um, Carnival, if you <laughs> if you have it up, can you uh, type in chat real quick? I get another test. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. But why is the name of this this episode not a pitiful shmuff of meat and bone? <laughs> uh, because I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, there you go. Look at you, hacker. Panting and sweating through my corridor. No! No way! <laughs> Stop it! How could a pitiful insect you challenge a perfect team like me? Okay, it looks like we are in fact live. I do not have that playing audio, so... Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, other thing I forgot. I gotta get the Streamlabs thing up. That's the song's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, it's one. Of, it's one of the Dragon Spirit tracks we didn't get to because I think it's like one of the last stages. Yeah, I think it is the last stage. Actually, Dragon Definitely Saber. Excuse good. me. Okay, that should be good. That there. I have my list. <laughs> Should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute this. Oh, thank, thank you, Bear, for hosting me with your OnePlus viewers. Hell yeah. Also, it did. Also, uh, did that for Bear, but did not do that for Carnival, huh? Well, I mean, it's not like it I had any Carnival. viewers. And you, I did it. Both of you had the same amount of viewers. What? Okay, then. I guess it- I think it also hit at the exact same time, so... Okay. Get fucked, Carnival. Or, no, you oh, hosted well. me 22 minutes ago? That's what says oh, here. Oh, yeah, jumping the gun, Carnival. I'm doing it because I don't- so I don't, uh, forget. <laughs> you remember how forgetful and brain-dead I can be at times. Alright, so... Yes. Welcome to another episode of Ranking of Shmups. Uh, tonight will be a, I have a feeling, a very special episode. Um, hey. Since it's going to be Halloween, uh, since I did the cursed episode on the 13th, uh, I figured we might as well take a look at the other ho the Halloween tradition that is body horror and gore, which there's plenty of in Shmups, although... The flesh... Oddly enough, I've done all the bigger ones that I would have normally done, but so yeah, there will be a more interesting selection this time. Debase um, yourself to the flesh and the meat. Also, just to give you a warning for tonight's stream, um, yesterday I managed to catch myself a pretty good cold, so I apologize ahead of time for any coughing and sneezing. I'm going to try and not do that on mic, but I will probably catch it or miss a few. Like, for instance, right now. I mean, it's fine as long as you don't make some sort of unholy hawking noise in the background. You'll be no, fine. thankfully, it is, not, it is not a hawking cold. It is a sneezy and coughing one. Damn, I think that would have been a high wing stream. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to hawk a loogie more... on the stream. No, you need to do that. It will add to the aesthetic. No. <laughs> <laughs> the aesthetic, the Lolo. Speaking of aesthetic, why don't we go ahead and get started with the first game? Which will be kind of the most stained more. Oh, hold on. Let me. I jumped the gun. Uh, a bit loud, probably. I'll adjust that one and I re reset it to get it at the proper spot. That's not resetting it. I believe in you. Uh, let me do this. And then this. Then do this, this. And then turn the volume down real quick. So, our first game. Oh, it's still a little loud. Um, is X Multiply? Um, this is an IRM shooter. So, the same people who dot R type. Um, 
I so think I I think I read somewhere that this is supposed to be in the same universe, but as you can see here, um, it definitely fits the aesthetic. Um. Okay, this is uncomfortable. Yes. No, this is um, real good. Delicious tubes and spines. I like the sweet whiskers. The yeah. whiskers are nice, though. Yes. Yeah, so th that is basically this <laughs> this game's gimmick is essentially you. It's it's like our type, except if you didn't instead of having like the force unit thing, uh, you have two tentacles. So almost kind of like a Zezex kind of thing, except it actually almost works the same way as Dragon Breed does because you can kind of um, since they move as like you move, you can actually position it to actually block shots. Actually, I'm trying to see if there's an attract mode. I didn't actually it's see if there was one. It's it's almost like our type if you hated fine control. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if there's one. Might as well just start then. So I think the plot of this is supposed to be some sort of fantastic, uh, fantastic journey kind of thing where you're we're like inside of this bigger organism. Indeed. Because, yeah, controlling those whiskers seems awful. Um, it's actually not quite as bad, so it's you move backward to get it to do forward, and then forward to do back. And then they kind of expand on their own, which is... Yeah, yeah that was the weird. issue I had. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, it looks like it's gonna be one of these checkpointing systems. Yeah, uh, from what I tr from what I played of it, it's actually not quite as bad. Just look at all this beautiful meat. This is very meaty. The delicious meat. So yeah, so if you go back and forth, you can kind of wave the shots out of the air, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can kind of do the greatest thing where if you let it go and have it like go into the thing, that really helps. <laughs> it's really annoying that they naturally reset. Yeah. Yeah. Like I get what they're trying to, they're just trying to use it to encourage movement, but it really... I, did, I probably also could be an anti like I guess cheesing mechanic. Um, it does seem like there is two level, two levels of um, weapon upgrade. Hmm. Which you don't have to pick up the same color. You just have to pick up two of them, which is nice. Also, it seems like there's only two weapons, uh, weapon types. Which is fine. Ah, meatballs. Well, also, just like I, other IRAM. I like those team and likes. I Thank love you, Loco, for those. Likes. No, no background this time. I see how it nope. is. Nope. Yeah. Well, look at that oh, guy. He's man. happy to be here. Yeah, Lolo, when was this made? Uh, 89. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is very much... It... it oh, oh, actually, I, I... Okay, I take that back. So they're... I guess they just didn't have this in the first level. Okay, what exactly... Oh, am I supposed to be killing this thing over here? Yeah, it seems like it. It's garbage is what it is. Yeah. It is pretty garbo. It's supposed to be a spread shot, but it... It's, um, basically, you use, you use your tentacle things to kind of aim. Yeah, also, that's... whiskers, because they move like whiskers. Yeah. yeah. Also, that, yeah. Like, yeah, it, it, that is basically it's trying to be... There, it is basically trying to do the exact same thing as the R-type uh, battle, or battleship stage, except with a bio, like, a, like a meat organism. The meat! The mighty meat. Delicious, delicious meat. What was that shitty show on Nickelodeon that had puppets and it was about meat? 
like sound I like it'll work a burger meat, joint. Meaty what? meat some, meaty something meat meat something of that effect. Maybe. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know what show you're talking about. Give me a second and I can find it. Oh. Cause all the talking meat okay, reminded this? me of that. Oh this this oh god that that Mr. No, not meaty. Good burger. What? It is not Mr. Good meaty. Oh, that's right. Mr. Also, Meat. this that boss is. I'm sorry. Look, good burger is good. Yes, it is good. I but see. am I? Do I seriously have to start the entire damn fight yeah. over again? You do. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Also, one nice thing about this is that they give, they actually give you two attack buttons, or two shot buttons. Um, so you can just kind of alternate in order to get to, uh, like, rapid fire. Oh, yes, if you're not using a turbo controller. Nope. Yeah. Oh, this would be an arcade game, after all. Is there at least, like, a turbo dip switch? Um, I could probably get it. They probably have a cheat for it. Like, this definitely is interesting, it's just, it feels more like a tech demo than anything else. Yeah. It, yeah. So this came up before Zezix, right? Yes. So they, they feel like they just, they cannibalized this and turned it into Zezix. Uh, well, Zezix was, uh, Konami. This is, I don't remember. Oh. Because I, I want to game say, over. Because I want to say that in our type final, um, you can play as that ship. Mm. But then again, in our type final, there were, oh, I think, oh, okay, okay. I think we've seen enough of that. Yeah. Because in our type final, I want to say there were like a hundred and twenty ships you can choose from. Just so it reminds me, I'm gonna have to find myself a copy of that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and rank this? I put it. Disappointment. Probably. It is. I... Yeah, I'm thinking yellow area. But where in the yellow? Biometal. Hmm. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um. Okay. So that was X multiply. Not uh. Nirem. Arcade game from nineteen eighty nine. Uh, not eighteen ninety. Nineteen eighty nine. There we go. All right. And uh, one other change that I did. Uh, because I brought or I. Mentioned it in uh, last episode. Uh, the uh, we will not be ranking OSTs very often because I've turned the uh, basically the what was the ROS or the, the the OST rankings. I basically made it a Hall of Fame kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, we'll only be putting in the games that we actually think deserve to be on here not try and do everything but then again that's kind of how we were doing it before we just kind of finalized it now and also this i don't think this thing really did anything crime worthy yeah just was kind of bland like like i said this feels like they were just trying shit out to see what worked yes so in that case um this next game i think it is yes it is so why don't I go ahead and load this next game? I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, which one of these is Steam? Here we go. Why don't I... I'm just going to do this real quick. Oh. 
So is that? Do this. And then do this. I have a feeling most people will know this next game. No. Hell yeah. Isaac and his mother <laughs> lived alone in a small house on a hill. Hey, Isaac kept it's to himself, the criteria. drawing it pictures did and playing with his toys as his mom watched also, Christian yes. broadcasts oh, you on your television. Kind of Life was simple, and they were both happy. Okay. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my Jesus. lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing is this into Isaac's plus? room, or removing all this is plain. life. Okay. Well, Again, not the voice flash plane. This is... Isaac's soul uh, is still corrupt. Yes, this is reverse. He reverb. needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world yeah, well, and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. So this is the Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. We know how this is gonna go. Uh, where do I You're begin? Right. Well, I know exactly where I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna... Also, you're super crackly, so... Okay, that's not great. Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if it's fucking Isaac doing this. Could be. Yeah. McMullen is the kind of person to do that to you. I mean, was it fine before? Yeah. It was yeah. fine until we started this game. It's all McMullen's fault. Fuck. Okay. The bastard. I, it, I'm a robot. It's Halloween. Okay, so let's go. Um, this is Halloween. Okay, so this... <laughs> God, where do I even begin with this? Um, this hot mess. It's a hot mess made by yeah. a shitty person. Yeah, so this was made by... This game is made by uh, Ed McMillan, whose more famous game was uh, Super Meat Boy. Uh, yes. This originally was made in Flash. Um, this is the Rebirth Edition that was made by Nicholas. Uh, it meant to up, kind of upgrade a few things about it, make it a little bit easier to play because the Flash version is not that great in terms of getting it to run so basically as you saw from the story basically Isaac's mom is a major fundamentalist she gets herself in her head that she needs to kill her son he goes in the basement and a lot of body of fluid stuff happens let's go ahead and start I'm just gonna <laughs> play as Isaac Way to be a basic bitch. Also, you can only play as Isaac, I think. Yeah, cause I um I think I let my brother play this at one point. Uh, so I do. I one of my saves does have a win on it. I do not remember when I had that happen. Um. Also, I. The answer's, 
I completely forgot how this game works sometimes, so I'm just gonna play it. The answer Don't is worry. I downloaded a save. Yeah, honestly, but all things. So this is the I've... full experience, and that's what matters. Yeah. Um. So basically, uh, I am using. I think the one of the things Rebirth added was a uh, controller support. Yes. Um. I am using the keyboard. Um. So basically, the controls are WASDA to move and the arrow keys to shoot. You can uh, only move in the direct cardinal um, directions. Uh, it's also really good because even if you're using a controller, you can still only move and shoot in those directions. Oh, that's troll bomb. Yeah. Unless you have a certain item that doesn't come out that isn't in until like after birth or after. Or, also, I uh, might after I might need you guys to explain some things that I oh. don't know about. You got you got it. You got it, pal. I put. Uh, go back to the room. Uh, go back to oh. rooms, actually. Uh, okay. Let's kill these guys. I think there there was probably a marked rock. I think. Yeah, I think I saw a marked rock. We'll explain what that is, if it is one in when the time comes. Um, it should be on the right side of the room. Uh, I know I don't see it. Okay, no, yeah, I'm gonna lose my rock. shit. Yeah. Uh, Welcome go. to Isaac. Uh, no, no, let's not go for the boss. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, get that's the boss. Game. Okay. Yep. God, after that's playing Monolith, awesome. this just feels so weird. Feels like yeah, crap, no, I, go back, I went back to Isaac after uh, recently, and it's like, eh, eh, man, all, Monolith is so much better. Um, also, um, it's a little harder to see in this version, but in the original version, you can really tell, um, that this was meant to be a, uh, send-off to Legend of Zelda. Um, also, if you're wondering, yes, that is meant to be poop. It's this it is very much an, this game. It is very much an Ed McMillan game. Yeah, Look, it's if, it, if, it, if it's shit. something gross, okay. it's it assumed it's going to be. If it okay. wouldn't doubt assume gross. Bloodsucker's not bad, for not great either. But okay, should I use my key? Save, save your key. Save your key. You don't key. have it's enough money to make going into the shop worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, though check out the right side. Yeah. The so this is the damage room, right? Uh huh. Okay, oh god. Yes! You lucky son of a bitch! So, what exactly does that do? Space bar will... You'll see. It's not, it's a good item. Um, also, could you do me a solid? Okay. Go to that corner room. Actually, not the corner room. Go to the uh, next room to the left. Yep. Uh, now I'm gonna want you to bomb the top wall. Okay. In the center. The shift? Oh, okay, well, okay. that's the button to it. It is E. E? e? Okay. Which yes, is E. Very bad, I might add. Okay, damn, it wasn't there. Okay. Not more for checking the other wall, we only got one bomb. Because uh, there's two kinds of secret rooms. Uh, there's the secret room, which is usually adjacent to three other rooms. Uh, and then there's Press the space super bar. secret room. Yeah, hit space. Yep. Uh, and then there's the super flying. secret room, which is adjacent to no rooms. <laughs> also, congrats on getting the worst first floor boss for Rebirth. Yeah. I mean, literally, the only way I play this game is with modded so that I get basically like a bunch of items to pick from from the start. Like, yeah, I, 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 I never. I never played the base game, correct? The only yeah. first floor boss that Rebirth added. Uh, I mean, and, and, it, and it's literal shit. Oh, it's a literal pile of shit, yeah. That's the good thing about the leech is that if it collects enough damage, it'll heal you your give you a half a heart back. It okay. drops yeah, off pro fairly quickly without support. But okay, and then I got a spoon. A spoon. Oh. Hell and yeah! A fairly up. decent item because that's speed is king. Like initially, the the items they put in the game, they tried to add some sort of deeper meaning to, like like symbolism for their uh, stat ups, but then they stopped caring. Yeah. yeah, and I always, I always thought that I'm like, oh, it's meant to like reference like 
like parts like parts of like Christian theology and all that, except it does a very loose interpretation that that kind of just makes it uh, pointless. Go back. You, yeah, you go back to, go to the that golden door. door. You, you still got one. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, you're killing me. Actually, just... bomb to the. Oh, in the shop. We'll come back. We'll come back. Just first get the gold. Whoop. Whatever. Okay. Go to the right. I got them. Mm, carnival. Why would you fuck me like this? Uh, okay. Oh. Fuck. Oh, congrats on getting getting absolute garbage. Uh, that'll just make a hole to the next floor. I would. Don't worry. No, that's not that's that, that's the mine. That just breaks rocks. Not even. I hate oh, this game. That is. Yeah. No, it's yeah. shit. So that's the other fun thing is there's a bunch of items that look the same. Yeah, because how many items are in this game? It's like, it's at least a hundred, isn't it? Uh, for base rebirth, it's well over a hundred. Yeah, for base rebirth. And this, well and this is very... Platinum God. And also, like, they've added, like, mods and all sorts of stuff, right? Like, I know... Death after Earth Plus. Yeah. Uh, there are a hundred... 341 rebirth item in base game. Jesus Christ. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I hate the sound in this game. I mean, you could go ahead and turn off the sound effects. Perfectly fine. No one blames you. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I can't use the mouse. That's great. Okay, we're gonna mute this. Oh yeah, that's because... the other thing. Because it fucking can't do. Turn on the. You, yeah. I wonder. You does turning off the one of the filters make the game run better? I never tell. Uh, I don't know. I could not even tell what the filter did. It oh, pixelates so me... it more. Okay, let me find a good no, music no, track. No, no, the filter softens the edges. Okay, oh. How about this? Uh, and yes, yes. Yeah, I just have. I just have a thing that I really hate, like, gross noises. It's just yeah, not my thing. It's understandable. I mean, given one of the things you really hate, I'm not surprised. Yes, yeah. and if and if Ipecac comes up, I'm avoiding it. No, it's okay, fine. To be fair, it's nothing like vomit in this game. I, I know, yeah. but still, just on the damn yeah. principle. Sorry. Yeah, no, there, there's actual vomit items that are gross as shit. Yes. Yeah. I, and I like the fact that the first time I ever played, like, even the original, um, one of the first items I got were, like, the pins in the eyes. Oh. God. Oh, you mean the, uh, the toothpicks, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think that was the yeah. one time I played the original. Fuck Monstro, he's not hard to fight, but he has a shitload of health, yeah. Yes, that seems to be a thing I'm noticing. God damn it. Hey, at least you don't have. At least we're not. We're still only playing base games, so that means they're not the god awful hell scaling that came up with uh, fucking Hush. Or to be fair, he wouldn't have to worry about Hush for a long time anyway. I I, I know. Or because uh, for reference, uh, there are. Last I knew, I, I'm not familiar with Afterbirth Plus, but in Afterbirth there are two different things you get mm -hmm. by speeding through the game. One is uh, if you get to the uh, beat the first boss, like the first big boss, uh, within 30 minutes you unlock a boss rush, which is fucking terrible. No, it's 10 minutes. Is that a meme face? No, no, that's a good one. That's a that's an increase. Oh, it's a magic speed. eight ball. Okay. Yeah, magic eight ball shot speed in oh. a tarot card. But what were you gonna say? Uh, but no, boss rush is reach hit reach mom within first 20 minutes. That's the uh, boss rush. 20 like, minutes and then hush. Beats mom's heart. Yeah, beats mom hearts in 30 and that's uh, hush, which fuck hush. And then in After Birth Plus, you get the fuck, you get Delirium, which is a, you get, well, the Void, which is a, 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 a boss, a tire floor of like, like, of just boss fights that have one that's the, sim, the final Delirium that just 
basically randomly jumps between all sorts of different bosses throughout the game that has a shit ton of health because it's damage scaling, because fuck you, your overpowered combo, you have to be built based off of, built based solely off of getting as many hits as possible, because to cheat the immunity frames. This guy had too way too much health. Game. Welcome to Isaac. Everything has too much health. Uh, you also That's... have not received a single damage up, which is awful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cut! And remember, mm. you, remember you got your spacebar item. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, so that's one of the great things about the blood lasers is they last longer than you think they should. Yeah. Yeah. But remember, yeah, oh. your, your guppy's head re recharges every room, so you can just spam it. Oh, okay. Sorry for not telling you about that earlier, just because it's... I think it spawns a number of flies based on, like, your damage, if I remember correctly, why you're not getting as many. That's kind of the problem with having 300 some things. It's the fact that, you know. There's a 1 in 300 some chance of getting the Getting a particular damage. item, which, how many of those uh, are damage ups? Yeah, it also doesn't help uh, that they intentionally poison the pool. Yeah, especially in Afterbirth. Um, Plus, and after in afterbirth, they have items that look the same, outright are the same item, but have different, have the same sprite, but have different effects. Because fuck you, or the countless numbers of just or one up or a red heart. It it's me. I'm not bitter at all. Oh no, uh, I hate these enemies. So basically, you, you don't basically you can't damage them until they do that attack. Yeah, and shooting him doesn't just kind of reset the timer, so you gotta just wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you can't bomb them either, because that just puts, makes their head stay on longer, so. Womp womp fuck you. Yes, I love Sniper Joes. They're the best Mega Man enemy. Also, it seems, is, it's... also, it seems like the shots are on a weird plane sometimes when you're doing horizontal. Uh, no, because they have physics to them. Yeah. They have a shot. Each shot, shots have speed and, and shot height, which they don't tell you too much about these mechanics. You got to figure it out on your own. Uh, well, no, he's referring to their, their momentum. Like, they, if you're well, moving in a direction, they maintain that momentum. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just saying, like, I, yeah, because I was, like, horizontal with an enemy, and it seemed like I should have hit it, but... Uh, no, it's because they, they maintain momentum. Also, one it's second. awful. Like, they're not aligned to you. <laughs> Sorry about that, needed a Kleenex. No problem. And by Kleenex, I need a, a sheet of toilet paper. There. Because why get a box of Kleenex when a good roll of toilet paper does the exact same job? Also, what's going on? Why is there hearts? Because that's the leech. It, if it take, does enough damage to a certain more time, if you uh, go back for the gold door for the item. Oh, I didn't even know. So you gotta kill the boss now, but yeah. But uh, I gotta kill but... this land mola. Because that's what this thing is. It's a land mola from Zelda. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That was a good job baiting the leech in there, the because that helps speed things up. Because the leech, it just if it did more damage. Concussive tears. Oh. Okay, so these you have a random chance based on your luck stat that your tears will do a give a like a day status effect to to luck uh, status. Enemies. There's a luck stat. Of course there is. It's it's fucking hard to get. Raise and it's obtuse as fuck because I don't know if lucky pennies are in this or their afterbirth. Oh shit, okay, it's only P. There not... is. But yeah, that's the status. It causes the enemy attack pattern to creep flip out. Uh, but yeah, but... there's a bunch of stats that the game doesn't give you proper numbers for until afterbirth plus. Yeah, um, but that's only because of anti birth. Like, they're like, oh wait, we gotta compete oh. with anti birth, I guess. Yeah. Also, I seem to see a pattern in the enemy design in this game. They're bad. It's all Chris out. Well, no, it seems like they're like this is the oh jump around and then. Oh, can, can yeah, you're right. There's a lot of those. 
Yeah. God. I forget to get. Oh, here. Oh, oh, God, and it. Oh. Let's see, how long did that run take? It's Binding Advisor. People get the idea. Yeah, it's, it's Binding Advisor. Yeah. yeah, I figured at some point I had to do that. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, bind, that's Binding yeah. Isaac. Um, a game that I'd probably feel a lot different about had I not done Monolith earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not, it'll, especially because you're playing Base Rebirth. Base Rebirth isn't a bad game. Base Rebirth is the best official Isaac, which is really sad if you think about it. Yes. I mean, also, do I was, sound less crackly now? Yes, actually, yes. you do. It was fucking... <laughs> it was McMillan. It was McMillan! McMillan! I will fucking make an argument about Afterbirth Plus is, is actually okay, but that's because mod support, which means that's <laughs> it's not an argument at all, because mod support shouldn't be the only reason your game is okay. But then, yeah, at that point, yeah, that's that's a good point, but I still... For me, it's just... There's... Like... Well, one... That, like, at some, like, if this was two years ago, maybe, then that would probably be the best kind of game at that point. But really, Monolith does everything Isaac does, but better. Yeah. Because it doesn't have the amount of bolt... Like, it doesn't have the stupid amount of items. Like, the stats in there make sense. Like, why the hell do you need a luck stat in a game like because Isaac? It poison the pool. Uh, well, no. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Um, there are various items you can get, uh, and the frequency with which they trigger is based on your luck stat. Yeah, that's that's... Which is exactly as terrible as you think it is. Yeah. Because uh, yep. getting the luck stat up is very unreliable. And we're more I... often not going to get a luck down than a luck up, honestly. Yeah. Like, legitimately, in a full, from a retrospective, I would probably put this in green. Uh, Middle green. No. I... Basically, it's a good game. It's terrible art. It's... Poor, it's designed to piss you off. From because it's it's yellow. I, I, it's because I'm trying to think. Because the reason a lot of people liked it is because it owned the market, but it no longer owns the market, and it is proof as to how people will like great it, it is. Because here's the here's the thing: is how I think about what these rankings are supposed to be. Because I definitely have my opinions about this this game. But I don't know if I want to influence the ranking like that. Because I'm trying to think of it like, am I thinking of this personally? Like, where do I rank these shmups and just get guidance? Or am I trying to, like, have some sort of objectivity to those? I mean, I, I'm not telling you what way I to go. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I enjoyed Isaac once upon a time, but the further expansions kind of lost sight of what made it fun. Because uh, what you're playing was Rebirth, and Rebirth is relatively fun. It's definitely got its issues. It's got the poisoning the pool issue. It's got the Lost, uh, which is still one of my favorite fucking stories about Emin throwing a fucking tavern tantrum. Oh yeah, that's um, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, because he gets mad about. Uh, blah, 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 we so just mind. just for sake of archival purposes, um, because I think that is a pretty good story. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can remember what it is. But if I, I get it tell. wrong, let me know. Or actually, uh, why don't you? Yeah, why don't you tell it since you? Uh, so, know it. which aspect of it do you want? Do you want the ARG that was derived from spite, or do you just want the original story? Um, the full story. Yeah, yeah the, the full ARG story and the spite. Okay, so basically, the way it originally happened with the Lost is that there were a bunch of different clues you had to go about through the game, uh, people working together as a community uh, to figure out what was going on because they found all these clues assembling these puzzle pieces to figure out whatever this was uh while well, within a couple they were within a couple days uh, of finishing this this thing uh when a bunch of uh data miners found all of these things pointing directly to the lost including an achievement pointing directly to it 
Uh, so like, hey guys, look what we fucking found, and they fucking they, they spoiled the lost for everyone. Which who cares? They were about to find it anyway. Uh, but uh, McMillan got really fucking pissed. He was absolutely rip shit because people found it that way. Uh, and another person who works for Nicholas and he worked pretty closely with uh, McMillan Tyrone. Um, he he put out the beautiful line. It's like ordering expensive steak and eating it all at once. Uh, and it was fucking beautiful, the meltdown those two had. But then, fast forward to Afterbirth, uh, which is, Edmund did another ARG. Uh, but this time, half the, ga- half the expansion's content was locked behind it. And when I say locked, I mean they didn't actually even patch it into the game. It wasn't there. People trawled through that fucking game's data. Like, they searched it over with a fine-tooth comb, and they found none of it, because they were actually holding it hostage because of this ARG. Uh, And the central number in the ARG, which I do not remember personally, uh, was literally just the number of hours it took the data miners to find the lost. Edmund claims it's unrelated, but it was very clearly the same exact number. It Uh, seems... Coming up throughout the ARG. It it just seems based on McMillan's kind of attitude in general. That seems yeah. like something that he would do. But yeah, that was uh, basically so, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. But yes. Yeah, and so it wasn't until they, they dug up this this little uh Isaac figurine as the final part of the ARG that Emmons like, Yeah, we're gonna actually patch all that data into the game. But he claimed it was there the entire time. Yeah. Like, no. He claimed that that data was there, but people Searched incredibly you thoroughly. Don't like, tore this fucker apart. You don't lie to data miners like that. Like that's dumb because they know they will find that shit if it's there. If you're Thanks, dealing I mean, with people that know how to poke into memory, just don't bother. Like you are not. I don't think that McMillan is some sort of like engineering genius. Like I'm not criticizing his like actual coding, but granted. From mind I've played of his you know, coding shit. <laughs> it, 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 it is not that great, but still, like these, my point still stands. Are, I do not think that people, he can outwit those kind of people. Yeah, these are people who comb over data for fun. Like you're not getting around that shit. But yes, yeah, so yeah. That, yeah. Anyway, to, uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot what mine. I, I would. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would put it like hi. Yeah, and just just yep. to give my personal take on it, um, there are some games that we have not played yet, and I'm just trying to think of like, because another set of games that are, it's not just like Zelda that it reminds me of. It reminds me of games like, you know, like Smash TV and Robotron, which with well, the yeah, way that it controls. Smash TV, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it will definitely. But like games like. It feels like games like those felt like better to play. Like even Robotron, like came out in like eighty one, just feels better because with the way that your shots go out, like all slow to start with, and you have to build up your attack, you have to get lucky enough to get attack ups. So yep. that's the thing. Also, uh, one of the things that Isaac has as a problem is it has a stat for everything. There's shot speed, there's shot frequency, there's shot power, there's move speed. Um, and there's any number of other stats, many of which are fucking hidden. Like, you will never know they're there unless yeah. somebody tells you they're there. Um, that determine every little thing. Like, luck, I was mentioning before. Uh, there are certain items that, that have their, their frequency of which they happen based on your luck stat. So, like, let's say you have a uh, an, an item that basically, uh, from, I think it's Afterbirth, uh, that shoots a, a fist that stuns enemies out of your eyeballs. Um, the percentage chance of that if your luck is minimum, is abysmally low. But it can get really fucking high if you cap out your luck. Mm-hmm. And it's just that kind of awful game design when trying to make a game where you're attempting to make it about skill, uh, where the game itself is bent on fucking you over. And once again, uh, you have to play for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours to unlock everything. Uh, and what you won't know going into that, if you're completely blind, is that some of the items you unlock will straight up poison the pool. Like, they are unapologetically bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also, uh, for reference to those who don't know what the Lost is, the Lost is an enemy that can only take one hit before dying. Uh, hmm? Said enemy. Uh, yeah, player, not enemy. 
Yeah, yeah. But yes. You can only take one hit before dying. It's a one hit one one hit point wonder. Uh, and the problem is that there are times in the game where you just take damage for no reason. Like you you cannot avoid the damage. Like those doors that hurt you by walking through them. Uh, no, not those. Um, that's not what I mean. Is like there are certain uh, like enemies who do damage before you can actually see what they did. Yeah. They do damage as you see what they did. Describe. Uh, uh, so like the daddy long legs uh, fight. It brings down know. giant feet on you. Okay. Uh, but that damage spot is already there as the animation yeah. starts. So unless you already know that to avoid this, the spot as soon as they show up, you're going to get hurt. Even if the animation, you dodge the animation. Amazing. Either way, um, so yeah, it's got some really serious flaws, and the problem is it was the first of its... I would say the first of its kind, but it was the first big one of its kind, and actually caused the, was part of the reason for the whole rogue light revolution. Yeah. Uh, but as a game, I would honestly put it like mid to low yellow, personally. That's kind of where I was thinking, because there are things about it where um, it just doesn't... Like... What it did at the time was great, but still. Because we've been looking at all of these with like a more modern perspective on what we've played nowadays in comparison, yeah. I would say. Yeah. It would be fair to look at it as such, too, and say, hey, there's actually better on the market. I mean, and this is interesting for what it started and what it tried to do, but what it did yeah. is not great. Also, all the gross out stuff is fucking. Yeah, awful. that that's that is a personal problem of mine, and that's actually the reason why I don't play that game a lot. But that is my, that is, I will fully 100% admit, that is my personal taste. Um, but yes, even then, I would still say, it. I mean, if you like what it does with, like, I can definitely see, I can definitely see why people get, like, really into it. But <laughs> if we're thinking of it as a shmup itself, I don't think it's that great. That's fair. Now, where to put it, though? Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking above UN Squadron for this NES. Fair. I'm fine with that. Mm. Yeah, that's Sounds fine. good to me. Oh, one sec. Oh, God. Also, another issue I have with it is that there are things there. Are certain items have coded in Hello, synergies, uh, which the synergies are actually really neat and fun. Uh, but the problem is you'll probably never see them because of yeah, there's too many of the items. Yeah, exactly. The pool is too massive. You know, uh, only gets larger the more you play. Would this could be a teammate joint, or would I say Nicholas? I would I'll say put... N yeah, I say Nicholas because it is this is Nicholas this version. Okay. Uh, also, because the only other person who was working with him, Danny Baranowski, just has kind of sworn him off forever. Oh yeah, that that's 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 yeah. yeah. Terry, you didn't miss much. Yeah, you didn't miss much. The game literally broke my 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 speech. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. This was never Team Meat. Also, Lolo. Team Meat is a separate group. Uh, this was just Edmund oh, and okay. uh, Danny Baranowski. Uh, was it 2016 that it came? Rebirth came out? Rebirth? No, I think it was 2014. Oh, Jesus, was it that old? Yeah, because it, it was a PS4 launch, if I remember correctly. Let me check quick. Because, yeah, that is also another thing if you do want to get eyes, like, you can't actually get it for the PS4. You can get it for a lot. Yeah, that's another thing uh, uh, that's great about that game. Um, because I, well, it came. It was one of the launch, not quite launch titles, but it came out pretty close to the launch for the Switch at yeah. forty dollars. Yep. What they charge forty for? That was for Afterbirth Plus, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but still. Fuck you, McMillan. Uh, uh, okay, but still, so I forgot, yeah. I was actually on the ball. It was uh, November of twenty fourteen, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds about right. Uh, also, the original Binding of Isaac was 2011. Yeah, and yeah. Which I don't even think I can get that to work. Yeah. So, yes. Um, so, yes, we are. And uh, the OST, 
even because it was Derek Danny oh. B, right? But it's this I, is Danny I, B. I just Danny B was the original. This yeah, is this a is Danny composer. At all. Oh, it wasn't even. Oh, okay. So this was after no, Danny B's soundtrack was actually really good. Yeah, it's just. Macmillan is so fucking awful to work with. He Danny B is just like. Sorry, scum. We will get to more shmups in a sec. We just got a bitch about Isaac. Okay, okay, <laughs> Carnival. Um, I'm gonna go out and say this. Uh, they neither of them has ever confirmed why they stopped working together. Danny B has oh. said he will never work with Edmund again, but he's never said why. Uh, but the reason everybody thinks is because Edmund is very toxic, and Danny yeah. B is very left leaning. So. Huh. So but it was never confirmed, and neither of them said why. So we have a crime on our hands because it literally broke my system. Well, not broke my voice. <laughs> so yeah. how hard of a crime is that? Isaac has many crimes. We. I mean, it's a pretty tame yeah. crime because it's a very localized issue. But uh, if you want to talk other crimes, there's also the absolute gross out humor. There's the poisoning the pool. There's the massive pool. Uh, there's a lack of meaningful upgrades. Um, I can go on. Because, yeah, certain upgrades are just unapologetically better than others, too, which is a huge problem. Yeah. yeah. Like, Brimstone is universally a pretty good item versus... Oh, not even like that. I mean items in the same category. Like, there are items in the same category that are just better than others. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so one... Okay. Two items. Boys in the pool. Can we count Edmund as being a crime? Um. I don't think our lawyers would allow that. Yeah, because when I think of Edmund, I think of that kid from Narnia. He's kind of an asshole. Yeah. Narnia is also oh, bad. Wow. I mean, that's a different subject, but yes. Yes. So, it was like, so yes, that I think is enough about Isaac. So, this at this point we have actually hit the midpoint of the stream. So I am actually going to go back and do what I tried to do last week. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me load this up. And it better work, or else I'm going to be very, very mad. Do, do, Sorry do. about that. I have very strong feelings about Isaac. That's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and then F1, and then F3. That Sonic F was Four. basically Edmund's, um, Design strategy. Okay. Have this. Wait. Countdown. Also, if you see, oh, you're wondering why. Actually good. If you're wondering why there's red text at the bottom, I have the frame or FPS counter just to make sure there everything's working fine. In the era of great chaos. Okay, it seems like it's the working. Earth and the moon were at war. Also, I'm gonna other. just do this again. Fuck the moon. Blow it up. A daredevil from piloted a bizarre aircraft. Oh, yes, this is a shmup by Square. It was yes. fear. Yeah. And because nice. of its shape, called Iron Eye. Called what? Iron Hunter. But it's time to blow up the moon. Hell yeah. Yes, one hander for German. Yeah. Okay, so. Yes, uh. Yeah, this is Einhander. Uh, it's a 1997 or 98. I think 97 was the Japanese release and 98 is the US release. Um, not a whole lot of options. Uh, basically, you just play the game. 
We're going yeah, to it leans hard into the hand motif for a reason you will understand once things get moving. So yes, we have a choice, I believe it's of three different ships? Yes. Holy shit. So, yeah. Um, you finish what you're talking about, then I will say what I realized. Okay. So, uh, you see at the bottom where it says what kind of weapon we have? Um, basically, machine guns, uh, it's saying what the machine guns are, basically how good your starting weapon is, or like your basic weapon is. And gun ponds is how it, this game handles special weapons. Which, because it does it in a very unique and kind of neat way. Um, so we have this ship, which basically you can have two special weapons at the same time, uh, but your basic gun's not that great. This one you can have three different uh, special weapons, but you can only have one at a time active, but you have like... You can have like a, like three different ones that you can cycle between. In this one, you can only have one gun, like one special weapon at a time. But your your actual attack weapon, like your basic weapon, is actually really good. Uh, this is actually the ship that I tend to use. I'm gonna actually mm -hmm. use it. Um, I think if we play the game more, that we can we uh, uh, like unlock stuff uh, by default. Um, but I this is a fresh, pretty much a fresh save, so. Go ahead and start. Uh, this actually used to be on a fairly widespread uh, PS1 demo disc. Yes. Which is how I learned of it as a kid. Uh, it yes. Was really good. It, uh, it was kind of a, it was on a demo disc that was legendary for what it had on it. Uh, yeah, it also had Roomba. Okay, you uh, see how, yes, so you see how that ship had like a gun on, on its back? So now we picked yeah. it up and now I have it on my back. So if I do this, um, I can you know, shoot it. Yes. So now I have a spreader. So what this one does is I can actually hit a button to uh, switch where it positions the special weapon. So I can have it either shoot for the shotgun uh, type thing, shoot forward or backward. And this is my personal favorite weapon right here, the cannon, which I can have either shoot forward or uh, kind of like the double angle from like radius. Alright, okay, quick question though, just for like, understanding. Are we for the moon or against the moon? I game? don't know. I just shoot. Okay. Moon yeah. Um, oh. so why I was shocked, um, was that the Einhander shows up in World of Final Fantasy. That- yeah, it's a square game. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. It's just like, oh, here's this robot with, you know, a hand and a machine gun. And now I know what it's from. So that's neat. Oh uh, yeah, because it's called the Einhander because your uh, your ship literally has a hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is actually grabbing those guns. Yes. <laughs> also, I, I quite like the music in this game personally. Yes. Yes, it is very nice. Oh, so basically these are like outlaw star ships everywhere. Yeah, it kind of has a um. Kind of reminds me, like the way that the ships are like holding guns is reminding me a lot of a uh, Pat Labor. Yeah, no, I can definitely. I mean, see this it. this enemy robot has a very Ava head. I mean, it was the '90s. Yeah. Well, Guys, I, I, I just really need this sort of. About Yes. Yes, it is very much 90s era um, um, kind of stuff. It is, but, but it is one of the better examples. Yes. Of it. it is definitely a Square game. I can't. I don't think this was like done by Square in-house, like the normal staff they would normally have. But um. Let me check. Also, for some reason, you saying that in World of Final Fantasy it was kind of reminding me of. Um, so, uh, Square had Chocobo Racing um, on the PlayStation as well, um, and one of the uh, people that you can unlock is actually the guy from uh, 3D World Runner. Uh, so, Lolo, you're actually wrong. This is in-house Square. Oh, who is it? Uh, no, Square. Oh, it, it just says Square. Yeah. 
Okay, I was wondering, did, did, did it, can you find out who it is actually? Because I'm kind of curious then. Uh, it is listing it as Square on Wikipedia, like the developer is Square. Uh, and the publisher was Square in Japan, but it was Sony Computer Entertainment over here in America. Yeah, I remember this being kind of a Sony-ish kind of game. Also, is, I, yeah, I always feel it, or it's always weird how um, the perspective of like how you're moving and like a normal. Oh, I can go ahead. Oh, damn. I got greedy. <laughs> <laughs> like this perspective right here is all is kind of neat, but also really weird. Yes, you can only trust a fist dump. Oops. Also, I do love that this thing just has a giant hand strapped on the front of it for some reason. It is, it's... Um, the only thing I'll say about this is that I can't... I think you can get this on the, uh... Um, PS3, PS1 score, but, um, I'm not 100% certain. I don't know. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh but I do know so that this that. is one of those, this is one of those PlayStation games that you're gonna have, if you want an actual copy, you're gonna spend a pretty penny. Yeah, that was the thing about that demo disc, is everything on it was actually relatively hard to find. Because, uh, once again, Tomba 1 was also on it, and Tomba 1 had a really limited run. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, oh, but someone was asking, is this one shot kill or do you have shields? Uh, it is one shot kill. Okay, and then after he was asking about uh, the upscale, is this up being upscaled? Uh, I believe it is. Order the following operation. The armored trains were discovered leaving the city on their way to the east. Pursue them and locate the enemy supply route. Please stop waving your prehensile metal dick around. <laughs> a dick like a baby's arm. Please <laughs> 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 don't talk about a kid in this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I do like, I do like how, man. um, it... It, the stages do kind of seamlessly go from one to the other. Yeah, that's I, really I nice. always like it when games do that. Alright, time to disrupt the enemy supply lines. Whoop, More whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, The wasp is a really nice weapon, but yeah. I, 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 I always I like my ammo. power ammo, or er, power weapon. I mean, the wasp is pretty powerful. Yeah, but I, I meant like, I like it. I'm aware. Yeah. Also, I hope you enjoy the grim dark side of the future. I mean, it works, because at least you can see yourself really well. Oh, do oh else. okay, that's neat. Oh, the dash. Oh. Reminded me of Sarah the Soldier. I'm also assuming that I can get the gun shot off. So I noticed that when I hit the hit the thing that I uh yeah, it was I, yeah I noticed that too. I mean odds are you won't, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh damn, I shot the cannon. No! 
So apparently a nine hand there's only on the Japanese PS on the store. Okay. I think yeah, I think I, that's what I was wondering. Tragic. I think that yeah, and also now that I think about it, I think that's also the same way that Bushido Blade is. Okay, what's the hedgehog? You know what isn't also only on the uh, Japanese PSN? What? Tomatoon. Yeah. Also, also LSD. Yeah. Well, I mean, Tomatoon, I mean, is on both. Oh, it is on? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, this thing seems weird. I mean, I don't uh, need yeah. to, like, get a copy of this shit, like, because I've seen my friend has a copy and I play it. Hey. Um. I need, I'm actually better at it than him when we did play. I think you host. Oh, damn. Because, yeah, it is a one out, one hit kill. Zero fighters left. So, how do you get extra lives? Or... Uh, I, I don't think you do. Uh, there might be an extend system that I'm not aware of. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. oh, You're greed! Let's see what happens. Oh, it gives you plenty of continues. Oh. Okay. I am actually going to say no. I think. Oh, there we go. Now we got a good idea as to how the game yeah. is. Yeah. But also, I'm kind of curious about something. Oh, okay. Yep. Up down. Oh, that's that's a neat way of doing that. Saving. There was a time. Okay, now I'm wondering if I. Oh, gal okay, gallery. This concept art. Is this gonna break the game? Maybe. Nope, we're good. Uh, Maybe. Okay, let's not go in there again. Now, if I do this... Okay. Um, you broke the text, Lolo. Neat. Um, yeah, I think okay, so... Okay, so, yeah, it seems like I can... Yeah, go back, it may have fixed the text just now. Okay, well. Because right, you got a new ship. Oh, I did? Yeah, that was the Australia. Okay, hold on, let me. Okay, how do I. Okay, that's gonna be. You could just reset it and, uh. <sighs> that's what I'm gonna... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because, yeah, that's what I was wondering if uh, you unlocked new stuff, because it was weird how when you started, it just didn't have anything. Uh, also, it's really great because the name of your ship is... is like The, the first there three types of time. ship you have, you notice how they have a specific name? Yes. Uh, there's a reason, if you recognize that name at all. And Demian. Demian. And Celine. No, nah, it's not ringing a bell. Uh, it's it's based on the story of and Demian and Celine. Oh, I don't know if I heard that. Also, we had the Australia to begin with, because it's the ship that you had in both. We had the ship. Hell yeah. But anyway. 
Yeah, that is uh, Ein Hunter. So what the? Oh, whoops! I forgot to close out Retrovarge. Um, let me do this, and then do this. Um, we're not gonna need you quite yet. Because boy, howdy, do we have a game next? Uh, but but yeah, I basically, would... it's 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 the the story of a, a shepherd who who loved the moon god. Uh, okay. He said okay. this isn't a far flung future setting. Okay. I would say I put this in blue. Also, yeah. yeah, it's it. Einhander is really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I, you would, I would add for I, I would actually argue that Hell this yeah, belongs blow up the earth, in. Free the moon. I would argue this belongs in at least like or uh, bottom pink. The, okay, yeah, that's yeah, no, fair. I, that. I just um, didn't know where to put it in bottom pink. I. I would play how is this compared to Tohu? I would, say more. I would play it more, but that's just I, me. I'd probably play Tohu more than this. I would play this I'd... more than Tohu, personally. Uh, so, fun fact, the person who did the music for this is uh, Kenichiro Fukui, I think is the name of him. Okay, I, that's not one that I recognize. Uh, he did a bunch of Square music. He, like, he uh, was the composer for uh, uh, oh, some weird fucking games. <laughs> Uh, is he like front feed? Oh jeez, yeah. Wait, so Project Self Feed? Yeah, he he did Project Self Feed, uh, among other people. Okay. Uh, alongside Takahiro Nishi, uh, Junior Nakano. If I remember correctly, Project Self Feed is a game arts game. <clears throat> Unless I'm thinking. Oh, like the Xbox 360 one? Uh, it was published in Japan by Square Enix. Oh, hmm. Uh, over here, though, it was Microsoft Game Studios that published it, yeah. Okay, yeah, because that's developed by Game Arts. So I wonder if this is actually a Game Arts game that's... Un or... Uh, no, he worked and... for Square. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, oh, he must, he might have... He's in the Black Mages. Oh, huh. Neat. Um... Yeah, so let's... Okay, so how about we just split the difference and say it's better than Cherry Blossom? That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I'm done for that. Yep. Yeah. That Make sure you get the umlaut. Uh, uh, sorry to disappoint. We're not getting the umlaut unless you can tell me <sighs> what the, the key binding is. I can go find that quick. Hold on. Um, uh, let's see if I. It's not alt one two three four. It's a Hold a on. With it's an A umlaut, lowercase a with umlaut. Um, actually, how about I just do this? It's zero two two eight. I can also just copy and paste it from Wikipedia. Or from there you go. Okay, Einhander Square Enix uh, is a PSX game, nineteen eighty seven. Um. Also, the soundtrack is good, but. It's I don't not... think it. Yeah, it's not that good. And I think it's pretty good, but yeah, yeah, it's decent. Okay. Oh god. So I was originally going to do this last, but now that I'm thinking about, it, I might the next game I'm going to do after this is going to go last. Obviously. Um. Let me get this up. Um. So yes. Uh. This game has been requested of me. Oh, actually, speaking of requests, before I go on, um, I should recognize that um, <laughs> Rafferty was kind enough to don't or er, spend his fun bucks to request a shmup to rank, which is good because I need to find some shmups to rank. Uh, recommending uh, Mad Alien, uh, hmm. which, uh, from what I see, is looks like it was kind of like a Space Invaders clone. I'm going to okay. accept that, and I will do that in a future episode of Ranking of Shmups. Neat. It might actually be next one, because I need, I can't think of anything else. That's fair. Okay. But yes, uh, this next game... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Yay! Um, I'm going to close out a retro arch for now, uh, just to make sure it doesn't... Fear. Let's get rid of this. Also, just a little bit of warning. Why, uh, so this is a PC game. 
Let's get rid of that. Okay. Um, Those bastard PC games. How do it is play? a Doshin Japanese PC game from 2004. Oh, that does not run well. Um, I'm yeah. also going to warn. Uh, so there is this game has a kind of theme. And um, this might be a special version I got from the internet. Okay, my question though is, did you ask Loki if he got it? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have edited the sprites a little bit. Cry for the best. Um, that was really good though. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gull Shell. I, I Blood Red Skies. Also, I apologize if this is just too loud. I can't actually turn this down. Uh, can you adjust it? Yeah. I can't because if I alt tab, I get, I get, the game crashes. Nice. Let's go ahead and start. So, do we want to play as this guy or this girl or this guy? Let's. I like the top one more. Yeah. Okay. Slightly slow. I don't know how to get run faster. Jesus Christ, this is worse than I thought it was going to be. Oh God. Look, I'm just glad he finally did it. Also, please tell me it party. doesn't lose. Of Give course me. it doesn't. Of course it fucking doesn't. Why would it? And to be fair, part of the problem is the slowdown is, is probably part of the reason. Yeah. Uh, and it's so early. Awkwardly floating about. <laughs> It's like, oh, I guess the music's over now. Oh. By the way, I think that this is actually the more faster version. I think it actually originally ran slower than this. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, is that a boss? That's <laughs> no, the bigger version. Also, man, leveling up takes so fucking long. No, the leveling up is for me. Oh. 
this is a terrible projectile pattern. It's not shooting at you half the fucking time. Like, this would work. This isn't, this isn't a Toho game where that pattern should work. I mean, in a Toho game, it's not much more complicated. Yes. Also, Toho games are running at about five times faster speed. What I'm saying is, this game is shit. Yeah, this game's not good. Even if this game was running at the proper speed, it just doesn't... Ugh. Oh, God, oh, jeez. That one, I think. That slow down! <laughs> Whoop! Oh, I love up. I think. The way of all flux. Oh, good, I now have two shots. Oh, no, the game is suffering slow down, period. It's supposed to be a lot faster. No, it is, like, if you take a look at the video Slow Beef has of this, it's running at the actual speed it should. I cannot seem to get this game to run. The fact that I got the game to run at all was kind of a miracle. Nothing short of a miracle, yeah. Yeah. Also, how fast did Slow Beef get it to run? Oh, uh, he got to run at full speed. His dark arts. I mean, to be fair, this is what this game deserves. Also, that was... <laughs> I think it probably is Windows 10. Oh, it's very much Windows 10. Also, can I just fire as much of these as I want? Good. Why would I not just do this? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's costing any sort of resource. Just fuck out the sperm. This is a good game. Yo. Yeah. Oh, let's wait for that last one. The looping is really useful. Might I add this sound design is also really good. It's very needy. Fart and not sperm. But yeah, that the bleeding is just the same gif layered. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna sit there farting your sperm. Uh, also, I think using those doesn't net you any chunks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which I guess that's an interesting design choice. No. Oh.
the blood. Oh, Eat God. <laughs> Oh, eventually I will get to that meat pile. Delicious meat. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> I will get through it. Oh, you're starting to go away. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit manageable. Okay, there we go. Soon you'll be level three and you'll be meaty. Mighty, mighty meat. Time to beat that meat. Chris. Uh, Gotta beat the meat every day. He's an important polite company.
yourself in that meat. Just how long? One day we'll hit another bomb. That's okay. What I want to see is at the end of the fight. Okay. It won't be as bad if you can just get really slow. That'd be great because, and also because, I can't, I don't even know if this was originally a freeware game or not. Because any way you're going to get this, it's going to be just like this. Stop farting. <laughs> Um, at that point, they're the same thing. Is this thing just like supposed to be a new dispenser? It doesn't seem yeah. terribly threatening. Oh no! Oh boy. Ah god, no! Oh no! This is, the game is trying to get threatening now. <laughs> So I should have taken that one up first. You had time, Lola, you had time. No, no, this isn't gonna help. Yeah, that's a real good spread, though. What the fuck is a dead bullet ramp up? Yeah. It seems kind of ridiculous. Yeah! Cause you have like... <laughs> almost three times the bullets you had previously? Just tasty, delicious meat. The bullets we're now putting out that are completely worthless. Oh god, here we go. Oh,
it, get the meat. Get the meat, Lolo, no! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 420. Oh. You fucked hey. it, Lolo. Fuck this game. Okay, we got 98% and... That... Enough... Golf shell. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I would use the exit, except that actually caused it to crash and be back weird. So I'm just gonna hit escape. Ugh. That game was amazing, and I loved every second of it. Did, did, did you like... Did you like my art? Yeah, big uh, job. Best part. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Yes, I because uh, here's the thing: uh, all the images that the game uses are just BMP files that are on the just in the folder. Oh, good! It stores them as bitmaps. All right. Yeah, so I can go in and and ask Sprite and edit them. Yeah, why the fuck does it store them as bitmaps? Uh, because it's an early <laughs> PC dungeon game. One sec. Rip. Lola's gonna go cry. Can't believe Lola's oh. fucking dead. Gosh, All right. Oh god. So straight to the bottom. Yeah. Where do we put Baraduke too? Yeah, that's. Yeah, because here's the thing. Um, if you're gonna Deadly try, it's a higher frame rate. Right? Deadly Towers is at least playable. Yeah, because here's the thing. Uh, if you're going to go play this now, um, the amount of effort you would, it would take you in order to get the game to work properly um, is absolutely not worth a very generic kind of shmup that is just not that good to begin with. Um, it, things just, it's just very bland. And even if you can get it for free, just play Toho. Yeah. yeah. Like, seriously, play Toho over Gall Shell. That game, the Gall Shell is not a good game. And it, in it's, order to get it, in order to get to work, work, you just need to. Yeah. Contact the Eat your guy. pride. Yep. Rip. Let's see. Um, which one of these buttons is it? Um, <laughs> you, you, gull, shell, blood, 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 red skies. Developer, I actually don't know. I'm going to put Satan. Um, <laughs> for PC, it's a 2004 game. Do we want to put the the? I kind of think we should put the soundtrack though in there because that was pretty pretty hella midi. Yeah, yeah. Where I should think we? It's Buck Bumble quality. Put it in the trash. Combine okay. Golf Shot with Buck Bumble, and that's my new prog rock album. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a. Now, I, I just yeah, think Bumble. that the game is not good. I don't think it's a crime that it's that bad. No, it's yeah. just... It is just... It is an artifact of the times. Yeah. Yeah. So, on that note, I'm going to load a Fretro Arch again because I think we need oh. a power cleanser. Also, Hell let me yeah. take a look to see how... Let me also just go ahead and read the... Read the chat since I could barely hear anything. Also, let me check to make sure if anything. Nope, nothing yet. Nope. Okay. 
But yeah, no, it was it was just aggressively bland. Like even its fucking body horror art style was really mediocre and generic. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, it's all of the cyberpunks fighting cybercrime every day. Santa that game is good. You. Yeah. One sec, I need to blow my nose. So, I got a game that we've been doing a lot of body horror, a lot of meat. I think it's time for a different kind of meat. My meat? Um, once this loads. I believe in you. Hopefully it loads. You've got this. You can do this. I believe in you. Don't fuck up. Lolo gently whispering to his computer, you've got this, oh, I believe here we go. in you. Well, let me just make sure that the stream... Okay, stream's still live. Okay. This is a PC engine game. How about... How about some man meat? So Chomaniki. My God, a good soundtrack. I know. This is really good though. Just do this. Sorry about that. I'm gonna do that. Let me go ahead and actually do this. Choniki, right? Yes, this is Choniki. Yes. Hell yeah. Time for the man meat. So yeah, this is I Choaniki, uh, the sequel to Choaniki. Um, yeah. This game is really weird. Um, Hell yeah. Just to kind of give you a description before, uh, it is kind of... Uh, actually, I'll see if it's in track mode. Okay, no, it's just going to repeat the same thing over again. Uh, so basically, it is kind of similar to the first game, except you are playing... Actually, we are now starting to play as the Muscleman, Samson, and I forgot what the other guy's name is. So we don't control... Uh, conventionally, um, we actually, like, you have your normal shot that you just tap the A button, but in order to really do the moves you need to do, um, you actually have to input, like, Street Fighter commands. 
Why don't I actually just Holy go ahead and start? Okay. Not, you'll see. Okay, so I have... Oh. Uh, it's broken. Uh, yeah, what the hell's going on? It's near. <coughs> going on, okay. No, left. What? Start. Up, right, left, down, up. Okay, up. I accidentally quit. Okay, okay let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... So if I just hit A, I get this weird, like, thing, but I need to hit left and A, then I do this move. And if I do a Hadouken motion, I do this little forward thing. Also, I can do that, and also, so if I hit up, down, then I have this shot. Also, if when you see that little orb above me, um, if I do a Hadouken motion, I can get it off. A laser. Oh shit, Hadouken. So we uh, we don't actually have lives in this game, for instance. Our, we're basically based on the time, which you see at the the top. Basically, we don't want to run out of our lives. I do think actually, if you die, you do lose an hour's lives. Okay. Also, by the way, if we hit A, uh, we rotate, we, we like pirouette, and uh, we'll dodge all projectiles. This game is beautiful. annoying the fact that it's left and right and then a Hadouken motion because you end up accidentally doing the other <laughs> ever since that weird goddess lady said shit I'm just thinking of um, the Castlevania game with Jonathan and him yelling it's shot time when you hit start 
Oh, well, welcome back. I just appreciate one of the enemies you're fighting is a giant mechanical head with a tiny body on it. Yes. Also, the boss for the stage is really good. Here we go. <laughs> This is, I know this one actually, and it's really good. This song, though, holy shit. Am I gonna laser it? Yes, it is shooting men everywhere, and it's growing. Yes, it's raining men, hallelujah. I do love that your dodge is just you spinning and sparkling. Yes, also that is the stage clear. And it's great. <laughs> it's really okay, so we're beating a stage, you get three uh, timers. This whole this forest of faces. Oh no, these butterfly men. <laughs> They're just posing. They just want to pose. Why are you killing me? No. <laughs> Suffer Also, this music is weirdly chill for the chanting going on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like it, don't get me wrong. This is what JoJo's Bizarre Adventure should have been. Nah. It should have been. This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Have you seen... <laughs> have you seen what happens in things like Steel Ball Run? And Jojo yeah. This is like part seven and eight of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is this. Unapologetically. God damn it. Especially Jojo Lion. That was a real good laser, Lola. Yeah, it's the problem with it being Hadoken motion. Not a camp we've got to kill. This Rayman-ass motherfucker. This just Shakespearean fucking actor. Rayman is doing is Shakespeare. Yeah. Damn it, seriously, that spin is so fucking good. It is. Can we just shrink down? Maybe. I really don't have any idea what's going on. Yeah. Neither do I. Okay, but this man, though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to understand. That's the important thing. Rayman uh, stuff, not Rayman. So I'm really glad that I'm using a Saturn controller for this. Yes. Yeah.
do this. God damn it. Is like actually using like Japanese characters. Yeah. Oh, we're on the ocean. So let's. 2,300. Uh, well, 2,000. I was say I can do 1, 2, and 3, but that's about it. Yeah, I've seen 1, 2, and 3, and it's like. Also note that they're also so Also that dude's riding that man. Yeah. Not the problem. Also, I love this setting so much. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I got Yeah, I actually kind of appreciate that there's a million upgrades and stuff. I think it works for this game. Yeah, yeah. it works as well because it's just straight I up. Yeah, you yeah, fight it, fight, you need to fight it. It's, the, the dodge is also great, just the straight up just, just I, be able to no cell attacks. Oh yeah, do it because your hitbox is huge. Yeah. Actually, your hitbox is actually not as look big at, as you'd think. Look at that guy in the background, he's just like, what's going on here? Because basically your hitbox is like your chest, here. essentially. Man's just like I have stopped trying to understand what's happening here. Same this though. game is getting mean. Yeah. The music has continues to be awesome. Oh. Ah, Sima. Goodbye, Sea Monk. We ha don't don't try and make any sense um, of why they have holes in their head. They obviously didn't listen to uh, Justin McElroy on his sawbones. They had to Japan their skulls to let the ghosts out, Carnival. Oh no, these fish are gonna punch me. <laughs> these mola mola. Stop the Oh whoops. <laughs> nice. You tried. I knew I was gonna do it eventually. Yeah. Under the water, carry the water. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, what? 
So this is better than Radiant Silver Gun, I think. Just for that boss alone. <laughs> I completely forgot about that boss. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 Hold up a oh, second! <laughs> Don't question it. I just wanted to make sure I saw what I just saw. What did you see? I saw shoot something nice. Racing to shoot lasers out of the one man's crotch. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Oh, you're almost... I'm almost dead. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> the best part is like the green guy. Like his face is right in the other guy's crotch. You know what they're doing, dude. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Is that guile in the background? Is that just a oh. giant guile that's on? Hell yeah, Kappa! I don't think that's a Kappa. I think that's just a naked guy. <laughs> it's a new type of Kappa. The laser. Also, I'm trying to see. There's supposedly something you can do. Okay. I saw that. I saw that there was supposedly some sort of cheat you can do that. Um. If you you pause right as the person like gets rid of the last uh, um, thing that you get, uh, you can get it so that you have infinite time. Ah. Uh. You did it, Lola. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. How many stages are in this game? I don't know. I don't think it's actually that long. I love this fucking song. Look <laughs> <laughs> that. What? What? Hell yeah! Snowman time! Oh, I'm... Yes, I just... Yeah, I just wanted to pause there for a second. I need to see... Giant buff snowman. Holy shit. Do you have clips turned on for your channel, Lolo? I, don't I want think to I do. I can't see an icon on the clip. I thought I did. It's a bit, I, yeah, because you remember in Death Miles you did. Oh yeah, that's right. So why can't I click now? You've been banned for your clip crimes. Nope. Oh no. Yep, and that's it. Beautiful.
What a game. Yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, that, um, hmm. So where was the original show, Niki? Uh, I believe it was high. I, I, let's see. I thought it was in the pink. It might have moved down over time. I know that it's high up in the music. Yeah, because I thought we felt that oh, that there game it is, was... 52. It was 52? Yeah. Okay. So I... better than that. Yeah, it's definitely better uh, than that. It's not as good as Einhander, but I think it's better than Perfect Cherry Blossom. Uh, the aesthetic I... is better. The patterns are better. Just, it's much more, like, there's much more heart put into it that isn't waifu shite. I actually, you know, here. playing it, um, <laughs> it feels what we were playing it. I actually like that game better than I Hunter. Fair. Sure. Let's put it above Boogie Wings, then. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm actually thinking about Grady, uh, Grady's Guy Den. Even better. For a slight second, I was thinking of putting it as a joke in the 69th slot and then permanently keeping it there, but that, that's, not, that's not right. No, don't do this game that disservice. Osnia. That is for the Turbo CD. 1995. I think that belongs in the OST Hall of Fame. Yes. And I believe it's better than Chowaniki. I believe yeah. it. <sighs> yeah, it's a given. Hmm. Hmm. Between Night Striker and Bosconian. I would put it above oh. Boogie Wings solely for the Eggplant Man. True. Yeah, between Arm Please Bat Rider and Boogie Wings. What a game, what a player. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was actually able to finish downloading Destiny all throughout the stream we, without it interrupting my quality all because weird voodoo. Nice. Drugs. Okay, so let's see. I think that puts us at like a two hour, uh, two hour and ten minutes. Let's see. Uh, I think that that's we kind of have to end it on that. It's it's a good note to go out on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's just recap what we've done tonight. First game on the list was X Multiply. Which Crap. Held, um, yeah, wasn't that great? Uh, then there's Binding of Isaac. Crap. It's also not great. Yeah. Uh, then we had Ein Hunter. Really good. Really good. At 30. Then we had Gall Shell. Trash fire. Yeah. And uh, then we had uh, Aicho and Hiki, which is Fucking fantastic. really good. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty good. That's definitely a lot of body. That's, that, that was a lot more skin than I was expecting. That was a shitload of I meat. I did not expect to see a snowman's ass tonight. So much meat. Alright, so yeah, that does it for tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we'll, you will want to check tomorrow. Um, because I will be hosting a race. Um, so the 29th is my birthday, and I felt like I wanted to do a race that very similar to the race that we did last time, where um, basically got dice rolls and you would pick a random game. Except we won't be doing multiple challenges. It will just be you'll be give. Uh, so it will be um, 
Torpo. It will be Carnival. E. It will be Real Soviet Bear. So those three. And I will also be participating Ooh. in the race. Um, basically, um, since I know where all the games are going to be, um, I will essentially be pr uh, taking the quote-unquote most painful of the games that are left. Because, yeah. obviously, uh, so all the games um, are basic games that I have a lot of nostalgia for. Um, so, yeah. That, that, that'll be interesting. And that'll be at the same time uh, tomorrow. So, 8 p.m. CST. So on that note, uh, have a good night stream. Uh, good night stream. At least, it, and at least this time I don't have to spend uh, like two hours editing out footage. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Good night. What? You're not gonna separate out the biting of Isaac rant? <laughs> nah, that that's not as good of a rant. That was just more information. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. In that case, good night stream. Good night. Good night. Good night.